In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to get started as an affiliate marketer. Grab a pencil and let's get started. Hello YouTube, my name is Austin and welcome to my channel. I'm not gonna bore you with any of the introductions. I wanna get right down to business. In this video, I am going to show you how to get started step-by-step -step as a beginner with affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is the simple process of recommending a product or service based on a customer's need. For example, if a customer wants to lose 10 pounds, they'll do a Google or a YouTube search asking how to lose 10 pounds. You are solving that issue in a variety of ways, one of which is a, including an affiliate link to a product or service. If the customer buys the product based on your affiliate link, you get paid a commission. That's what affiliate marketing is. Now we're going to take a look at the step-by-step -step process for you to get started. Step number one, choose a niche. Choosing the niche is the most important aspect of affiliate marketing for a few reasons. Number one, it's going to determine your target audience. Number two, it's going to determine where you create content. Number three, it's actually going to help you determine your keyword research and everything else that comes after it. So choosing a niche is important. You should spend some time figuring out what you want to create content about, but don't spend a lot of time because any niche can work. The most popular niches for affiliate marketing are health, wealth, relationships, and technology. Any niche can work, just know that those are the four most popular. If you're struggling with how to find a niche, there are a few different ways that you can go about it. You can look on something like Google Trends, which will show you the most popular, most trending topics over a certain period of time. You can actually look at your, your search history. If you have looked up, if you bought, purchased something recently and you wanted to, and you had a bunch of questions, you want to figure out how it worked, you can actually look at your most recent searches and that'll help you determine what you can create content about. Another way is simply just look around your room. Right now I'm in a home office, so I have a microphone here, I have a webcam, I have computers, keyboards. These are all different niche ideas that you can take advantage of. You can go eavesdrop on conversations and figure out what they're talking about. You can go to public places and see what people are wearing and talking about. Choosing a niche is challenging, but you can breeze past this in, let's say, one or two days. So that's step one, choose a niche. Step number two, choose a platform. This is the second most important step because you are going to base your keyword research, uh, the amount of content you need to create, and how frequently you need to create content based on the platform that you choose. Now, there are actually two different types of platform. You can choose free traffic, which, is, which will take longer to gain traction and, and start making money with affiliate marketing, or you can use paid traffic. That's creating uh, paid advertisement, either video or, or written format. But you'll you'll be able to make money faster, but it can be more expensive. The most common places for you to create content is YouTube, blogging, podcasts, social media, so like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Snapchat, or you could actually use a free blogging platform. My personal recommendation is to use something like YouTube, blogging, or podcasts, something where you can control the platform a little bit more. So the second step is choosing a platform. Number three, keyword research. Keyword research is the process of finding out what your customers want to know. Keyword research is critical because if you don't create content based on what the customer wants to know, you won't have a customer, you won't make any money. Here's an example of something that a customer may search for. How to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. So you need to figure out what your customer is searching for. You want to create maybe like a list of 50 or 100 different terms and phrases, and you want to base this on your platform. So for example, uh, if you want to get found on Google, via Google, you do keyword research. So you want to do something like how to lose 10 pounds. And Google or in YouTube will do what's called autofill. So they'll actually make suggestions based on what they think you want to know. This is critical because these auto suggestions are actually based on what people have asked recently. So you want to make sure that you are going through and spending enough time doing keyword research because this will make or break your, your affiliate marketing business. As a beginner, you will probably need to do something called niching down. Niching down is a process of going a little bit further, a little bit more in depth, and finding out, finding keywords and key phrases that aren't as competitive. For example, how to lose 10 pounds is going to be very competitive. All of the big names, all of the major players are going to rank and have content about how to lose 10 pounds. As a new affiliate marketer, as a beginner, you are going to probably want to niche down to how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days 
as a parent. You want to niche down so far that you are out of the way of the major competitors, but not so far down where you're writing content for one or two people. As you gain more knowledge and experience and you gain what's called domain authority, you'll be able to niche up and compete with some of the major players. You'll be able to eventually compete for how to lose 10 pounds. How to lose 10 pounds in 10 days now there are a number of different resources out there that can help you with keyword research most of them are paid but there are a few free there are a number of free keyword tools to help you with your keyword research my favorite that i use pretty frequently is called answer the public answer the public.com check it out and it should give you a few ideas but keyword research at this stage is critical that's step number three Step number four is find affiliate programs. Now, the reason why this is step number four and step, instead of step number three is because you don't want to do your keyword research based off of the affiliate program. You want to do your affiliate marketing or your finding your affiliate programs based off of your keywords in your niche. If you get this wrong, you're, you're not going to make the number of commissions or sales that you want and you're going to be frustrated. The most common Affiliate programs out there are Amazon Associates for physical products and ClickBank for digital products. There are thousands, if not millions of affiliate programs that are out there. In fact, some of these other affiliate programs actually pay a little bit better than Amazon Associates, but everyone is used to Amazon Associates and so that's why they use it. In order to find an affiliate program in your niche, all you need to do is do a Google search with your niche or your keyword at the beginning followed by affiliate programs. For example, you would want to do fitness affiliate program and then look at the results. There are just a number of different affiliate programs out there. If you wanted to work with a, a major company like GNC, you can do that. Dick Sporting Goods. There's just a number of opportunities out there. Don't limit yourself to Amazon Associates. Number five, create content. Now this is critical. You want to make sure that you are creating quality content over a long period of time to help your customers. You do not want to create content where you're just trying to sell them something. You want to create content where you're adding value, where you're finding a solution, where you're answering a question, because once you help them, your customer will then be compelled to click the link that you're suggesting. Also, you want to make sure that you are creating at least 50 pieces of content for your, your, your affiliate marketing business. You can get away with creating less, but 50 is a good benchmark to start. Uh, it will take 10, 15, 25 pieces of content to gain any traction. 50 pieces of content will separate you from people that are just playing affiliate marketing and not in the affiliate marketing business. So you wanna make sure that you are creating 50 pieces of content. In addition, you wanna make sure that you're updating or creating new content frequently. So you want to get on a schedule and create content maybe once or twice a week, and this varies depending on your niche. In, the, in addition, you actually have the opp opportunity to create paid content. As I mentioned before, creating paid content is you're, you're buying ad space. It can be on YouTube. It can be on Google. Um, it can be on Bing, Yahoo. It doesn't matter. Basically, it's the same. You create a video. You create a, a writing copy. You, you do keyword research as you would, and you put that copy on a paid site. You pay up front or you, you pay a portion up front after you create the content and then you can start seeing potentially money coming in. The next step is to make sure that you add your affiliate links to the content. Forgetting to add the affiliate link can result in missed commissions and missed money. Now bonus is if you actually, instead of sending people directly to a affiliate offer, send them to your landing page. You want to start sending people to a landing page to collect their email address. Email marketing actually converts at twice the rate as the other types of marketing. So it's imperative that if you're just getting started with affiliate marketing, you want to incorporate email marketing. The benefit of email marketing is you can actually follow up and retarget your customers as frequently as you'd like and potentially sell them more than as if they would just go to that one offer by clicking that one link. So that's a bonus feature that not many people will tell you. Create a landing page and start email marketing. The final step in this process, if you're an affiliate marketer that's just getting started, is to repeat the process. You want to make sure that you are continually doing keyword research because keywords can change. You want to make sure that you're continuously adding content. And you want to make sure that you are always out there looking for the best affiliate marketing product. 
the affiliate marketing program. Um, another reason why you want to make sure that you're continually adding content is so that you can increase your domain authority or actually keep the level of domain authority that you have. There will always be competitors that are entering and leaving the marketplace. And if you go a month without creating content, there will be somebody waiting in the wings to take your place. If you want to know everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description to get started. You'll actually get a e free email marketing guide to get started the right way.